Well, hey, look who decided to join me totally by her own accord. Right, Audrey? Am I right? I'm right about that, aren't I? Am I right about that or what, baby? I'm right, you see? She's staying here by her own choice. All right? So, animal rights activists, know your role. Right, Audrey? Oh, my face! Oh! How dare ya! Oh. What are we talking about today? I don't know what we're talking about today. Let's look it up, shall we? Oh, professional. I'm a professional at this. I've been playing this YouTube game a long time now. And I know what I'm doing. Okay? Oh. Remember, people, water cures COVID. Ugh. And damn right I drink Aqua Hydrate. You got a problem with $5 bottles of water? I do too. But still, this is good stuff, okay? Don't criticize me. Criticize the maker. Darned it. Alright, what are we talking about? Let's look it up, shall we? I totally came prepared for this video. Video? Video? Get over here, girl. Mm. So we're going to talk about three things today. Three things today. I don't have three thumbs, damn it. Three things. Three genius things that I absolutely love. I love talking about uh, just the most delightful topics that absolutely warm the cockles of my heart. Absolutely warm them. In fact, they're in a boiler right now as we speak. Okay, there's the other story. And here's another story. Yay, all the stories I want to talk about are conveniently located under the roof of one website. This website's called Comic Book Movie. Of course, you know you're dealing with a uh, nose-bleeding nerd like me. Thankfully, I read Red War. Red? Red? Red Red Riding Hood last night while I wore this red shirt just in case I start nose bleeding all over the place from the nerd overload that I'm talking about here. So, genius idea Hollywood. I wanted to read this headline to you. The, the loudest I've probably laughed in a long time. Hot Wheels live action movie finds its writers as Warner Bros. rev up work on the project. Uh, wow. Let's dive in deeper, shall we? Hollywood Reporter reveals that Warner Bros. once again focused on bringing the Mattel's Hot Wheels franchise to the big screen. The screenwriting team of Neil Widener, that's an unfortunate name, and Gavin James, too bad he's not Kevin, have been hired to pen the screenplay. Imagine that, uh, Kevin James, like Paul Blart mixed in with Hot Wheels. Wouldn't that be a uh, cause for celebration in Hollywood? That would be a box office sensation. Paul Blart Hot Wheels. That's what I'm talking about. Make that a movie, would you? That's a crossover I've been dying to see. So these two uh, glorious people that I've never heard of have pen, are hired to pen the screenplay for what is considered to be a <laughs> live action take on the property. Live action. They managed to land the job after the studio asked a number of writers to come up with a treatment. Interestingly, sources say they managed to beat a number of more established writers. Widener and James don't actually have any produced credits at this stage of their career. But they've generated a lot of attention after being hired to work on the San Andreas sequel and Now You See Me 3, two movies that I have 
absolutely no interest in whatsoever. <laughs> uh, can't wait to see that sequel to that helicopter movie that The Rock was in. Remember that great movie? Wow, what a sensational picture that was. I'm surprised it didn't get a Best Picture nomination. They're also in the project of developing a new take on Romeo and Juliet titled Verona, or Verona. I don't know how the hell to say that name for some reason. Thankfully, I've never had to date a girl with that name. Verla, Verona? Verona? It was way back in January 2019 that Warner Brothers came up with this genius idea with Mattel to bring the Hot Wheels franchise to the big screen. And a project featuring the iconic toy property has been talked about for close to 20 years. Oh, wow. It took them this long to come up with something so stupid. That's, that's just great. Great job, Hollywood. With any luck, this one will actually stick. Though there's no word on the approach Warner Brothers is taking. It could be Speed Racer or Need for Speed. We don't know. Are you excited for Hot Wheels? Absolutely. I love watching Hollywood burning money. It's my favorite occasion. It's even better than Christmas and Thanksgiving, in my opinion. Whenever Hollywood burns money on useless projects like this and Battleship and, and all this other junk that won't make them any money at the box office, I love it. I love it when Hollywood loses, and this sounds like a loser, and I'm all for it. I love watching a good train wreck. I love watching a nice dumpster fire burn. I don't particularly like the smell of it, quite frankly, but I enjoy watching the fireworks, and I'm going to enjoy watching this mess of a movie when it finally gets released. Maybe by the time COVID has a cure, maybe we'll see this movie finally, but uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be tomorrow. Who knows? Because they could just do this all on a green screen, right? They could just have like, uh, I don't know, maybe bring The Rock or Jason Statham in as your main star, put them on a green screen, hire them for a day, and then be like, all right, you're done. Get out of here. You shot your scenes. We got five minutes worth of Jason Statham or The Rock. And uh, maybe get some hot female in there, like, uh, I don't know, Scarlett Johansson. You, you're, you available? You want to do Hot Wheels the movie? Imagine being an uh, actor in Hollywood and your agent sends you the script to Hot Wheels the movie. Oh, boy. Hot Wheels the movie. Wow. So, yeah, generally, I can't wait to see this. I, I love it when Hollywood fails. I, I actually really enjoyed that Battleship movie. You know, e even though it's absolutely terrible, I, I love it for the fact that it's so over-the-top, god-awful, absolutely abysmal movie. But uh, there there's something to be said. I, I love painfully, awfully good, bad movies that just, like, uh, somehow, like, they, they sink so low in the bad level that they become just, like, they, they spiral back up to, like, masterpiece territory just by how legendarily bad it is. They are, like, Rih Rihanna's acting alone in Battleship needs to be seen. Just absolutely marvelous performance from her. Absolutely A-plus level gold star acting right there. Uh, yeah, get Rihanna as the female lead in Hot Wheels the movie. Why, why not? Sky's the limit because she's a proven box office sensation with hits like Battleship under her belt. So, yeah, make that bacon. Make that bacon, Hollywood. Okay, so next genius story from Hollywood. This came out today. This is another tidbit of, of absolutely tremendously brilliant, uh, tremendously brilliant genius, just goldmine ideas from Hollywood. They, they don't get any smarter than this. Spider-Man 3, MCU, Spider-Man 3, Sony, whatever the hell they're going to call it. Uh, probably something home or home something fill in the blank they they gotta have that home in the title probably probably spider-man home run swing and a miss so uh tom holland spider-man 3 the amazing spider-man 2 star jamie fox in final talks to reprise his uh oscar nominated role as electro yes you heard that right and wow i i wasn't even looking like, my eyes were looking at the summary for it, but basically they said, yes, you read that right. Yeah, G genius, Hollywood, genius. Executives at Sony, literally, like, 
all the jokes are in this article. They joke about, like, is this not a April Fool's joke? Like, I'm pretty sure everybody had the same reaction to this. Uh, yeah, so Jamie Foxx, I mean, I, I don't even want to read this article, quite frankly, because it, it sort of just speaks for itself. Jamie Foxx is coming back as Electro. Um, okay. Like, uh, even Audrey's bored about that. She's like just sitting there going like, she's looking like Sleepy Joe over here. Right, Audrey? Are you excited for Jamie Foxx to come back as Electro? No? Why not? Why not? Oh. Didn't you like Electro? You know, spitting electricity out his mouth. His whole motivation for hating Spider-Man was, You forgot my birthday, Spider-Man. You don't remember my name, Spider-Man. It's not because I look entirely different than the last time I saw you randomly on the street for less than 30 seconds. No. Oh, what what a great motivation for a villain in a uh, movie, eh? Like, uh, oh, Spider-Man didn't remember my name, so now I want to kill Spider-Man because it's my birthday and I'm going to light my candles. And Spider-Man bad, and I'm Blue Electric Man now. I'm, I, the hero of New York City now, Spider-Man. You stole my attention. It's all mine now. Uh, what do I think about this? Uh, I would be surprised if this is uh, what Donald Trump would call fake news. This is totally fake news, 100%. You're fake news. Whoever came up with this story, 100% fake news. I don't believe it. Show me the receipts. Show me the receipts. I don't believe this for one second. I uh, I think this is ridiculous on a monu on a monumental scale. Jamie Foxx coming back as Electro. I mean, give me a break. If it happens, whatever. Sky's the limit. But I was hoping they would just uh, go with someone like Craven, the Hunter, as the villain in this. You know, it makes sense with the cliffhanger we got from that Far From Home movie. But. Uh, no, I guess not. I guess it has to be Electro again because it worked so well the last time Sony did a version of Electro with uh, Jamie Foxx on it. Oh, God. Yeah. But surprisingly, surprisingly, let's click on the next story now. Surprisingly, it gets even stupider from that when it comes to Spider-Man. So let's read this headline. Spider-Man Remastered. Insomniac's creative director responds to backlash over Peter Parker design, or redesign, I should say. So, so basically, their excuse for this is uh, like, oh, we changed the design of Peter Parker in Spider Man PS5. Because we wanted the character to look more like the actor, Yuri Lowenthal, who does the voice for Peter Parker, Spider-Man, in the game. And it even says, yeah, I should read this uh, quote that this, uh, whoever the hell this guy is behind, uh, behind the video game. A few words from Brian In Ishtar, Brian Inatar. Brian Minotaur, I don't know how the hell to pronounce this guy's name, but he says a few words from me on today's news. Oh, I'm already so excited to read this. Today's news about the new Peter Parker face model has surprised some of you, and we at Insomniac totally understand your reaction. Heck, it even took me a while to get used to Peter's new look, but as we discussed the franchise's future, and moving to the PS5, it quickly became apparent that delivering even more believable looking characters made finding a better facial match for actor Yuri Lowenthal, who we all love as Peter, a necessity. We care as much about this character as your attachment 
to him. So please know we didn't make this decision or change lightly as we did throughout the development of Marvel Spider-Man. We'll continue to read your comments, listen, and always be looking for ways to improve every facet of this game. At the same time, I hope you can trust us that this decision is what we feel is best for the future of the franchise and our upcoming goals for this beloved Marvel character, blah, 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 blah. Oh, Audrey, you look even more bored than I am, and I just had to read that damn quote. I can only imagine the viewer right now having to listen to my troning, monotone voice reading that exciting company statement from company man Brian over here. Uh, th this is one of the stupidest redesigns for a character I have, quite frankly, ever seen in my life. The whole notion of them making this character look more like actor Yuri Lowenthal is totally ridiculous. Clearly, the inspiration for this redesign is Tom Holland. I think everybody can clearly see that. The fact that this guy doesn't even mention Tom Holland in here at all is uh, is a sign that they think we're complete and utter morons. You know, we're trying to make him look more like Yuri Lowenthal when it's like he looks even less like the actor you're talking about. He looks more in line with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. And clearly that's intentional because obviously Tom Holland is the current Spider-Man. So clearly it's like... And I, I don't know if it's maybe a, a thing. It's maybe a redesign due to the backlash of the MCU. Uh, of, or I mean, not the MCU, but the Avengers game that was just released a while ago everybody was up in arms about the fact that it's got this realistic-esque look about it but the characters aren't literally modeled off after robert downey jr or uh chris hemsworth as thor or scarlett johansson as black widow you name it the these you know they do completely new character designs it is an mcu the video game it's it's a new take on the avengers that happens to also go down that sort of uh, quasi-realistic level, similar to, obviously, Marvel's Spider-Man here, the PS4 Spider-Man. Uh, but yeah, I I just think this, this redesign is totally unnecessary. I think it looks terrible. It doesn't match the voice at all, in my opinion. What the hell they are thinking with it, I don't know. I don't know why they would waste their time, money, resources on this redesign. I thought... I thought the original character model looked much better. Uh, the the emotion conveyed in in all the sequences involving uh, whether it be Doctor Octopus or uh, especially the ending scene, the climax scene involving Aunt May. Uh, you know, a, a powerful. You know, you know, it's it's like the quality, of the storytelling, and the characterization will make that image of that. Uh, Peter Parker face model ingrained in my head forever. So with how good that that original version of the game was, it, it's kind of impossible for me to get behind this redesign. It, it doesn't make sense to me to make him look more like Tom Holland. Uh, this has nothing to do with the MCU. And uh, yeah, I, I, I just think it's absolutely... Uh, cringeworthy what what they've done with this character and i i don't understand how anybody could think this is an improvement at, at all like absolutely ridiculous but but it's not like i care too much i just wanted to comment on it because it's like i, I really love this game it's not a game you know i tried going back and replaying it on the hard mode uh, but I, I don't know. I, I was just kind of bored with it. It's one of those games that once you get the Platinum Trophy for Spider-Man PS4, you're kind of done with it. I don't see myself playing it again anytime soon. Maybe maybe the Miles Morales or whatever DLC might intrigue me. I don't know, but I, I don't really care about that either. Hearing that it isn't even a full game necessarily, it sounds more like a... Uh, it sounds more like something they should have released just as a DLC for the game, but it says, like, no, we'd rather just charge full price for that. 
you know, and reap all the benefits with, uh, you know, the same design of New York. We just spruce up a few things here and there. And instead of swinging around as Peter Parker, you're doing it as Miles Morales now. It's just like, okay, whatever. That's, that's a cash grab if I have ever heard it. But have it your way, Insomniac. If that's what you want to do with, with your time, fine. Have it your way. Uh, so yeah, th those are three uh, silly stories that I wanted to talk about. Now, uh, God, I I I thought I was gonna edit this video and do some like comedic uh, shenanigans with it, but uh, you know, reaching this point in the in the runtime now or whatever, I'm just like, ugh, like I I don't even care, man, like. That that would just be so cringeworthy if I was just to edit in a bunch of stuff and make it all like, ha ha, funny, ha ha. I mean, these these stories are so stupid, they speak for themselves. Uh, between Hot Wheels the movie, Jamie Foxx coming back as Electro, this whole Tom Holland makeover of uh, Spider-Man on PS4 and PS5 now, it's just, oh god. Oh... Well, that got your attention. The whole time I'm speaking all monotone like this, you're not even looking at me, but as soon as I do that, you suddenly are intrigued. What, my voice doesn't impress you? Huh? Is that how you feel? I see how it is. Cats, eh? You gotta love them. Gotta love them. Stab you in the back if they could. Absolutely delightful creatures. Right, Audrey? Absolutely beautiful creatures that love hearing you talk endlessly about Spider-Man and Hot Wheels and thespian actors like Jamie Thox. Thox? Fox? Oh my god, I am so... Oh, I am so out to lunch, you guys. I, I don't know what I'm going on about. I, f I feel like I just grew like a bunch of lines on my face throughout the course of this video. I'm becoming older stupider by the by the millisecond uh oh my brain's on overload especially from having to listen to an hour and a half worth of that uh presidential debate from uh like two days ago my head is still ringing from having to listen to that you guys oh my god the full hour and a half how the hell did i survive that literally right after it i was outside talking to the neighbor and my head was just spinning after that, man. I tell you, that that was some real, real blasted nonsense, man. I, oh God, I I don't even want to give my thoughts on that. I <laughs> I I hate politics so much. You know, it's either you lean one way or the other, and either way, you're gonna get hate on it. Probably, I'm gonna get hate just for mentioning it for, for Pete's sake. Oh, uh, anyhow, you guys. That's enough of me. I'm sitting here. I'm I'm petting my beautiful cat here. She seems to be loving it. Oh, well, as soon as I mention that, she bites my hand. So, oh, but now she's got that little, oh, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Look on her face. Yeah. I love this cat. I love you, beautiful girl. Oh, I love you. What would I do without you, you beautiful cat, huh? What would I do without you, huh? I don't know. Well, I tell you, this video wouldn't be as long as it is now if I didn't have this cat, let me tell you that. Anyhow, you beautiful people, let's uh, see if I can get this gorgeous cat in the shot here. She's uh, sitting amongst my messy couch right now. It's got empty water bottles everywhere, cat toys, a shirt, dirty shirt from a day or two ago. A uh, hat I usually wear to block the fact that I'm a bald guy now. Some ruffles. Uh, a belt that I wear because I'm too darn skinny. Uh, even a wine cork. Would you look at that? Somebody's been heavily drinking. 
And some Whoppers. Look at that. Sponsored by Whoppers as well. Remember, eat lots of candy, guys. That cures COVID as well. Lots of sugar, especially when it's mixed in with water. So you got to drink a lot of Powerade. A lot of fruity drinks, guys. Drink them all. Drink them, drink them up. Drink them up as much as you possibly can. The cure is out there. It's in our hand. It's literally in my hand now. Buy Aqua Hydrate. Expensive water, but it cures COVID. That, that's the truth. I'm dropping nothing but truth bombs for you guys here. Isn't that right, Audrey? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yeah, you see, even Audrey wants the water. This is the ultimate sponsorship for Aqua Hydrate, I tell you. If a cat wants to come up and sniff your water bottle, that is just the best product <laughs> selling of all time. You try to kiss me on my face, you beautiful cat. What a cat trying to kiss me on camera. It's like, what is this all of a sudden? Candid camera? I'm going to have PETA coming all over me, Audrey. Are you crazy? You crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Like, it's like, I think I'm crazy, actually. I'm talking to a cat. She's just look, looking at me like, what is wrong with you, man? You go from talking about Hot Wheels to talking to a cat? And Hollywood has problems? Ugh. Oh. Anyhow, stay safe out there, you gorgeous, gorgeous souls, you. And, uh... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what I want to say. I, I don't know how to properly end videos anymore, you guys. Uh, but yeah, since I'm spreading misinformation about COVID, uh, something I read recently, and Joe Rogan was saying it, I guess vitamin D helps out. Uh... Yeah, so let's do that on camera here because I took two of these today. I think it says take three, right? Take three. I'm not sure if you're supposed to swallow these though because I, I hate swallowing, you know? I'm one of those guys that has to chew like a thousand times over before I swallow, you know, a, a bite of pizza or whatever like I was eating earlier. So, you know, I, I never liked swallowing pills, so you're not gonna see me about to swallow this here on camera now unless I do it by accident and make myself look like a damn fool while I'm doing it yeah so eat your vitamin D drink plenty of water be healthy people come on we gotta make it through this we can't we can't die we gotta make it We got to make it so we can watch Hot Wheels, the live action movie. And Jamie Foxx as Electro. You know? These are things that one looks forward to. Important things in life. Like Jamie Foxx as Electro. And Hot Wheels, the live action movie. Remember that. These things are important. Forget politics. Forget COVID. All that matters in your life now is Hot Wheels the movie and Spider-Man. I almost forgot what I was talking about for the second part there. Ironically, Hot Wheels the movie is more memorable to me than Spider-Man is now. Maybe because Spider-Man is just so damn overexposed at this point. I don't know. Give me a movie about Big Wheel or something. Like Spider-Man villains that, you know, haven't got representation yet in media. Where's a Big Wheel spinoff when you need it, you know? Big Wheel's a villain in the comics. So fascinating. I mean, a giant Ferris wheel rolling down the streets of New York. Like, that. that's what I'm talking about. That's a villain that deserves his time in the sun. Darned it. Justice for Big Wheel, damned it. And forget about Sandman, what about Hydro Man? We gotta teach the kitties out there to drink water, okay? Oh, 
drink water, and don't listen to schmucks like me coming up with these harebrained ideas, you know? Why listen to me when we can have Jamie Foxx come back as Electro and Hot Wheels the live action movie? Am I right or am I right, Audrey? That's right, I'm always right. Right, girl? Huh? Am I right? Look at me, look at me. Huh? Am I right? Huh? Am I right? No? That's it. That's it. I can't work with you anymore, Audrey. Your comedic timing is just off the charts. I mean, ridiculous. Ridiculous. I pay you to do one thing. One thing. And you drop the ball. Okay? Unacceptable. Unacceptable, girl. Okay? How dare you? These are important topics I'm talking about, Audrey, okay? You know they're important when they come from comicbookmovie.com, alright? Okay? This isn't the catspajamas.com, Audrey. This is important shtick here, girl. And you're laying down on the job. Unacceptable. I got a chapped lip. Huh. Oh, I'm still filming. Oh, wow. This will make for wonderful B-roll footage, won't it, girl, huh? Yeah, the one time I can get her to actually sit down in peace on camera, and I'm talking about, of all things, bloody Hot Wheels the movie, and Spider-Man redesign, and uh, Jamie Foxx's Electro. Wow, what, what great topics to talk about. Oh... Might as well talk about my love for Jersey Shore while we're at it or something ridiculous. Ugh. What else is there to talk about? I don't know. How about them Lakers, am I right? Uh, Alright. Well, my brain is done working forever now. This will be my last video until my next last video comes out. So I hope you guys enjoy it while it lasts. And uh, remember, if your piss isn't clear, you ain't. Good night.